Hello, my name is Matt Burnell, and I'm one of the professional services consultants for Episoft. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss what is meant by a variation and how it pertains to document classification and the extraction of data. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines a variation as a change in the form, position, condition, or amount of something. Something that is similar to something else, but different in some way. Often documents of a single type will vary widely in appearance when it comes to semi-structured documents. This will result in an unlimited number of variations. Let's take a look at some generic samples of invoices. All of the sample invoices have a typical layout. Each invoice has an invoice number, an invoice date, vendor information, bill to information, payment terms, and a table of line items. Some of the differences between these samples are that not all of the invoices have a PO number, not all of the invoices have a ship to location. The invoice number on one of the samples is vertically aligned. One of the samples, the vendor name is not listed but there is only a logo and location information. So why are these variations of invoices? Because not all of the samples have the same data. Not all of the, the data can be located in the same manner from one sample to the next. Remember that the definition of a variation is something that is similar to something else, but not the exact same. How does this affect classification? This is dependent on how many document types are configured, which classification method or methods are used. If a keyword classification method is used, the data points may not exist in the same place from one vendor to the next. If a content-based classification method is utilized, the content or words may exist on another document type and possibly in the same location. Classification methods will be discussed in a future tutorial. In this portion of the tutorial, we'll be discussing header footer extraction variations. The variations that have to be accounted for in a header footer extraction setup are the keys not being the same, the keys are not in the same location. Let's take a look at the samples for the keyword of invoice number. If we take a look at the four samples, you will see that the first sample, the key is the actual word invoice. The second sample to the right, the key would be invoice number. The key on the bottom left would be invoice NO. And the key for the image on the bottom right is vertical, and it would be invoice hashtag. These are just some simple variations to the key element to find the value. Key patterns can become complex to reduce the chances of false positives. Let's take a look at the four sample images again. This time our main focus will be on the key element of invoice date. For the first image, we would key off the term invoice to find the date. This will be covered in a future tutorial. On the second image to the right, we will use the term invoice date. On the image on the bottom left, we will use the term date. And for the image on the bottom right, we will use the term invoice date. The reason these key terms can become complex to find is there are invoices that have more than one date associated. If we look at the two images on the right hand side of the screen, the top image has an invoice date, a due date, and a ship date. The invoice on the bottom has an invoice date and a due date. When looking for the invoice date, a regular expression will be written to find the key date term and ignore any invalid keys. The regular expression will look like this. Regular expression will only find the valid terms 
that have to do with the date we're looking for. Another variation is that the value may not be in the same relative location from vendor to vendor. Value patterns can change from vendor to vendor. Let's take a look at our samples again. As you can see in these four sample images, the invoice date for the key is directly across from the value that we are trying to extract. Three of the invoices have a similar date pattern. The last invoice on the bottom right hand corner uses a longer date format that would have to be accounted for when setting up for extraction. These are just some of the header footer variations that will be seen. In this portion of the tutorial, we will talk about table extraction variations. The variations that have to be accounted for in a table or line item extraction setup are the layouts changing from vendor to vendor, column header names changing from vendor to vendor, column header locations changing, the number of columns changing, and the value patterns within the columns. Let's go ahead and take a look at our samples again. Here we have our four samples. Two of the invoices have a very similar layout, but the column header information is different between the two invoices. The other two invoices have a very different layout from the rest of the invoices. These are just some of the sample variations that would have to be accounted for during the setup of table or line item extraction. Thank you for watching. During this tutorial, we covered what it is meant by a variation and how it pertains to document classification and data extraction.